All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here we go with round one, and on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter, yet when we sat down with him on Thursday, first words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me. I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh, my goodness, kid. You laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado. I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Marshall, there's the only takedown, and this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Oh, nice. wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. Oh, wow, oh! Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. And he's out. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip and push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, nice work as he delivers the elbow there from the bottom. Close guard. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Big body kick. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. And now he's secured back position. And he lands another takedown. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Closed guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Well, hard to win fights working off of your back, but that elbow certainly a useful one. Oh, doing some serious damage with those elbows. I think the cut man's getting anxious there in the corner. Cut man better get his stuff together because he's going to have some work to do in between rounds. He is slicing him apart with those elbows. Good work from the top here by Lee. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground-and-pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Lee. Oh, the ground-and-pound is there. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 
showing off that leg dexterity and flexibility rubber guard now. I mean, it's unbelievable to watch these guys who are able to bring the legs all the way up around the shoulders and just control you. Because to me personally, and I'm no jujitsu expert, to me personally, it feels like this is a position to really just slow everything down. Are there submissions? Yes. But the ideal thing in this position is to slow you down from damaging and really just make you feel more in danger than you really are. Straight right, he misses. The horn sounds for the end of round one. What are you doing out there? Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. I want you to keep your hands up, keep moving your head, keep moving your feet, cut those angles, and let's change All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. So Look at him working. Oh, and there's a double leg right takedown for him. Beautiful entry there. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's bag down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. Oh, and he's attacking choke now. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat. Chest to the... And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in a fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent... Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Oh, nice. No, actually, oh. he's close to an inverted triangle to try to get the finish. Wow, you don't see that very often. Oh, he's in trouble here. his mouth. Potentially working on a leg attack here, DC. It looks like he's attacking a heel hook. Oh! Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Lee. Notice that the knee is bent. A lot of the pressure is going to be on his opponent's knee as he's trying to finish. Somehow stays in the fight. Well, at this point, he's really got to think about mixing some things up a little bit more and working that body. He's had a lot of success up top working the head, but at some point, change your level, work that midsection. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times... Trying to set up a choke here. Oh, he's got a choke. He might get a finish here. Oh, he might have got it with a choke. things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the check the slick movement where he slugged the leg back in the middle now he's gonna try to roll for a knee bar oh wow oh oh we're getting a finish here and this might just be a matter of time Not tap. 
tapping out tonight. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Under a minute to go here in our second round. Oh, staying active in pursuit of the submission, now going for a leg. Voicing its appreciation after that crazy sequence in the previous round nearly submitted him there, DC. This is usually what we get with striking, but tonight you have a very educated crowd. They appreciate high level grappling, and they are getting that tonight in this fight. That submission was in deep, but wow, what a great job of escaping and living to fight another day. Oh, that's a good right hand. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. A right, little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. And they separate. Oh, effective strike there by Lou. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Over. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you've got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? All right, side control now. Yep, he's using the Kimura. He's going to try to use the sweep. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Ooh, what a punch. Nice body. Just missed on the front kick there. Oh, man. That, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. 
It does not feel good. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Ooh. Oh, how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jujitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Andy. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. He lands a big knee to the body. Another clinch position. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg Oh, kick. big elbow. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Beats a big knee. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Slips the punch nicely there. 20 seconds left. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. And now trying to take the back. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. That's relaxed. Recover. Excellent work with those strikes. The combinations you change in the gym are perfect. Keep that going. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Strong transition there. He moves to his back. That is how you scramble, folks. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up. He drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Lee gets hit with a kick. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Nice loop and punch. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC. Really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. In the Thai clinch, look for the knees to start. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strength. Wow! Oh! Nice liver shot, Lance. Back to the feet! Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Ooh, diving punch lands. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. 
His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Attempting a choke now. Oh, he's got the choke. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. and mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Side control now. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Going for a submission. Can attack an arm bar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Wow. Close guard. Lee gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Straight punch land. He lands a switch knee. Oh, nice hand speed as the counter with the right is good. Oh, oh. big knee there. <laughs> knee to the body. Both of these guys going all out. High action fight here. Oh, straight right. Lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken. How about those five minutes? All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Next round is now underway, DC. major takeaways after the previous five. That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two examples on. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Back mount now. And he is back up to his feet. Head kick lands. Oh! Back and forth we go here! Big kick. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, massive kick! Everything behind it! Lee's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Beautiful strike. Beautiful body kick. Left, 
strike combo is good. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's in. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. That's a single collar tie. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that one. Right on the cut. He's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. All right, watch out for the setup here, DCI. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish this little shot, lands. Unable to connect there. Oh! Beautiful body. Play. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Oh! He's broken. He's hurt bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Big knee to the body! Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, the strike lands there, but doesn't do a ton of damage because the fighter's cooked. Yeah, he's done. He's thrown everything with his... Oh! Shot. 